we're going to be talking about four card game activities that you can do with your learner to help increase their mental math skills so that they can recall addition facts right away without using their fingers or any other tools. Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you four different addition card games that I've used in my classroom to increase my students' mental math addition skills. There are, um, you can definitely change this so that it can be subtraction, multiplication, or division, but for this video's sake, we're going to stick to addition. And the first activity that we're going to be talking about is called Beat the Clock. Their goal is to try to answer as many addition problems as they can in one minute. So the child can obviously do this on um, his or her own, or uh, I have paired students up. One person will be timing while the other person does the, um, the game, and then they switch. I'm just going to show you really quickly how um, to set it up. Basically, all you need to do really is take out all the kings because they don't, we won't need them. I made jacks. Um, 11s and I made queens 12 and I like to write the number on the card just so that um, the students don't forget and then after um, that is all set up then I have the child the learner choose um, which add-in they are on so if they're on their additions math facts 0 which all of my students start with is 0 they put that card down and they put the rest of the card um, the rest of the cards face down. So for um, they start off looking like this, depending on what add-in they are in, and they um, the timer press start and they begin. Zero plus zero is zero, zero plus one is one, zero plus six is six. This is just practice obviously, but they um, my learners do a math drill once a week, and if they get um, 30 um, problems out of a minute correctly, and you can change it however you want, um, but 30 pro addition problems out of a minute correctly, then they move on to the next number. So the learner is on um, twos, then they would put down the twos, and then they would start. And I like to... Um, have the students record where they're at in their math drills. Um, I typically have a recording sheet myself, obviously, but the download has a um, math drill log that you can use to record, um, for the learner to record where they are at, and um, the download is in the link below. So the next card game is called Face Off, and this requires two people to play. And what happens is the deck is divided, and this is player one and player two. And what um, the goal of the game is to um, add up the two numbers, the two add-ins, as fast as possible. And whoever adds up the numbers the fastest um, wins those cards. So um, two players put it face down at the same time, 0 plus 7, whoever gets it right first, um, they keep that. So say player 1 says 7 first, and they put it back in the pile, and then the game keeps going. Um, 4 plus 10, 14, say player 2 wins that, so then they put it in the bottom of their pile, and the game keeps going. Um, I, like I said, I do take out the kings just so that we are doing numbers from 0 to 12 to keep things a little bit more simple. The game ends when one person has all the cards or when there's just out of time. And uh, typically during a class period, I set the timer for about 10 minutes and then they play until um, it's time to move on to another lesson. The next game is called Double Slap, and this is, again, a two-person game. So students or learners divide the cards in half. 
I'm just cutting the deck just to be fast. And this is going to be practicing their doubles. So um, this would be a great activity, independent activity or beginning activity when it came when it comes to introducing doubles. So students should have somewhat of an understanding of um, adding doubles really fast. And so what they do is they put two cards down at the time and they keep going until they hit a double. Which, when someone slaps it, if you're the first person to slap it, then you have to say the answer right away, too. As long as it's right, then they take the deck and put it in the bottom of their pile. It's kind of like um, Slapjack, except um, there's an extra element to it where you have to add the two numbers together. So that's a great activity for practicing doubles facts. So the last game that I have today is called Memory. And for Memory, the objective is to try to find two numbers that come to a certain sum. So you have to find two add-ins that uh, make up a sum. The first thing that you have to do to set up the Memory Edition game is to cut the deck in half because um, using too many of the cards is going to be overwhelming. In fact, I think this is even too much. I'm going to cut it down even a little bit more. So I would say no more than about 20 cards. So, okay, so the learner has, um, has a smaller pile now. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose the sum of five. So I have to take out any cards here that are um, over five because obviously you're not going to get the sum of five if you have something that's a bigger number. So I have only a couple cards in here so I'll probably grab a couple more just so that I have a little bit more to work with and you don't have to do five you can do ten you can do twenty even you can do um, any number that you like, but I'm just going to start with five. So that's a decent amount of cards. And what the learner is going to do is they're going to put the cards face down. And so the learner has to find sums of five. So they can play on their own or they can play with a partner for this one. So let's say they choose this one. There's two and there's two. Two plus two is four. Is that a sum of Five? No. So they have to turn it over and then they try again or the next player tries. So I noticed that this was three and if I add two, that's five. So once they get um, the right add-ins to make the sum, then that player keeps the card and the game keeps going. And it keeps going until all of the cards have been um, have been taken and obviously if some of the cards don't work then they can just be discarded and then the winner is a uh, is a player that has the most pairs so there you have it guys four card game activities that you can do with your learner to help them increase their mental math skills I have a free download today it has an addition log so that you can keep track of your learners progress as they go through their um, addition acts and you can track to see how fast they're getting them and the question of the day is what would be your first game that you would play with your learner to help them increase their mental math skills I'd love to hear it in the comments down below and if this video was helpful make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button with the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!